The world is getting more and more spiritual. Things are not going in the way they should be. The world is full of darkness, and it's getting grosser and grosser day by day. People are losing hope in the power of God and going about seeking evil powers so that they can have an upper hand in life. You have to know and understand that you are in warfare and that your enemies are not happy that you have the supernatural edge through the power of God. The Bible says that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but principalities, power, and spiritual wickedness in high places. There is wickedness raving the whole atmosphere. A whole lot of wickedness will continue to increase. The Bible says that it will increase and abound because it is a prophecy from the lips of God that the world will get darker and darker. This is why we cannot engage life with the arm of flesh and with mere plans and strategies alone. This cannot stand against the wiles of your enemies. These people are using occult powers to stand against your progress. But you must first recognize that you have enemies, which is the first thing to know. And you must also understand again that these enemies are powerless against the power of God. Sometimes, when we hear stories about our enemies, we so much get afraid of the number of the enemies that we forget we have God on our side. And if God is for us, all these enemies, even though they're a thousand, are nothing before our God, because he would never let your enemies see your back. Everyone that has ever walked with God had to deal with opposition. They will always come, so you should be happy that there are enemies that are trying to see your back, because that's a sign that you're prospering by the power of God. Some people will just hate you for nothing. When you live trusting in the power of the Holy Spirit, you will see your life working by the miraculous hand of God. You will see time compressed for you. You will see barriers and limitations breaking before you. And you will see God give you speed. You will see God lift you from one throne of life to another. Thrones that you even never worked for because it is by the power of God to lift. Some people will see that and not like what God is doing with your life because they're jealous of you. Laban said to Jacob that he was checked and diagnosed, that through divination, that it was because of the blessing of the Lord on Jacob that made his business shoot up and prosper mightily. He knew that this progress was not normal, but supernatural. He knew that this business was sponsored by the power of something that is above the natural realm. Just like him, some people see the progress of God in your life and they're not happy that God is doing great things with you. So, they go seeking occultic power to stop and put you to shame. They want to see shame in your life. Shame is an evil spirit sent from the pit of hell to cause discouragement and disappointment. Someone goes to college and never finishes their degree, not because they do not read, but because of the spirit of shame. I once heard a story of a man who had gone looking for a job several times. He was qualified for the jobs with all his degrees, but he was rejected again and again by the managers. This got him so troubled that he began to realize that these were not normal. Again, because all his colleagues have all gotten jobs, even people who were lower than him in their degrees. Then he began to seek a spiritual solution. He went to his friend who was a pastor and asked humbly about what could be the problem. His friend prayed for him and took authority against the works of darkness and loosened him from the deception of his enemies. He was free, and in the next few months, he got a good paying job, which he got with so much ease. This is the case for many people walking on the streets. Life is very spiritual. Some people are contending with your destiny, to see that you do not make advancement and progress in life. The glorious thing in this warfare is that you have an upper hand to stand against your enemies when they come running to fight you. Your enemies will plan ambushes to bring you down, but with the power of the Holy Spirit, you will destroy all their ambushes. This is why God gave us His Spirit, to teach us and help us to walk on the highways of victories and glory. You need the gift of discernment to see beyond the natural. There are places that your enemies will mark for evil for you. There are plots that your enemies will plan that without the eye of God, you can't see and avoid their deception. 
You need to covet and desire fervently the gift of discernment, and this is why you need to spend time with God and His Word so you can get more and more acquainted with the operations of God. Your enemies are down below your feet. They will never see your back. There is a provision of God where our Father hides our mistakes and amplifies our goodness, meaning that there are people who have made many mistakes, but it seems as if even when their enemies keep pushing to expose their shame, God will fight for them and preserve their glory and amplify their goodness and shield their mistake. This is a dimension of God you need to know that when we say that God is a merciful God and He is full of mercy, it means He will put out judgment away from you. He will not allow your enemies to put you in shame. There is a scripture that rings about this so much in Romans 10 that whoever believes in God cannot be put to shame. God is saying to you and telling you not to look down on yourself and keep condemning yourself for what you did in the past. Jesus Christ has come to take our shame, and he said that the reproaches of them that reproach you fell on me. This means the shame you were supposed to take, Jesus has taken it on his body. He was spit upon. He was flogged. The enemy saw his back so that you will not suffer the same thing. That is what God has done for you. It is legal, but now you've made it vitally sure by taking authority against the spirit of shame. You are not fighting mere flesh, but spirits. You need to engage these spirits that your enemies have sent with the power of the word of God and win. It will require you to be tenacious about it. It requires you to stay on the word of God and keep meditating or confessing that your enemies will not see your back, but God's glory will shine and cause the whole world to favor you. Faith in God always pays well. Faith never disappoints. If you put your faith in God, you cannot lose against your enemies. You will search for enemies and you will not find them because of the power and glory of God upon you. Seek God's power always and cover yourself with His presence. There's no way your enemies can see your back when you saturate yourself with the presence of God. An end has come to every operation of darkness when you engage life with the Word of God. The Word of God will give you victory over your opposition, and it'll give you peace and assurance. The knowledge of your enemy should not make you not conscious. It is so that you know there are enemies and engage with this prophetic word that they will not see your back, because the devil is very persistent and tenacious. Even though he'll lose, he will always keep trying to see if he can still win. Or maybe peradventure, because of your ignorance of the word of God concerning their attacks, you will give in to them. You can have boldness and assurance in the word of God. You can have peace that transcends understanding, knowing that you have a God that not only blesses you, but he always creates around you 24 hours of protection from the attack of your enemies to put you in shame. The Bible says that a thousand shall fall at your right and 10,000 on your left, but it will not come against you.